It's very difficult to exhibit your art in galleries, so I realized I might use the street as my gallery because it makes sense to me. If I want to just share and show stuff, I might as well take it outside. There's more people there than in the galleries. And uh, it's free. It's also illegal, but if you do it right, you're not going to get caught. I always uh, loved doodling since I was a kid, but I never thought of like doing anything with it. It just was a way of meditation. Uh, I needed to escape the world I was living in and the pen and paper was always there. I couldn't care at all what was the end result and even today I don't care about the end result. I don't draw with a lot of uh, thought in it. I'm actually looking to escape. Before I realized, uh, I started to understand about composition and uh, that I love also digital art and graphic design and typography. And I realized they're all coming from the same core, which is self-expression through arts. So before I know it, I had to go to school and start uh, investing more time on how to turn this into a profession. But uh, still, most of the stuff that I do has no um, Planning. The internet is quite a fascinating world. I find a lot of inspiration uh, there because most of my favorite artists and other creative uh, worlds are constantly uploading things. So it's very easy for me to get inspired early in the morning. I can also get extremely frustrated because I see the level of skill other people have that uh, I want to attain. Books are uh, fantastic, movies, and uh, one of my favorite is uh, actual nature. Even a short trip uh, to the woods uh, sparks a lot of things in my head. And lately, the past few years, I get really inspired by the situation of the planet. So I realized that maybe I can contribute by making uh, awareness art, positive art. It's my way of sharing and giving back to the planet and maybe make it a little bit better by providing, let's say, a source of, of goodness for my department. I try to uh, make the art touch uh, like the other people in a, in a spiritual form sometimes. I got a lot of dark thoughts like everybody does, but when I draw something like that, it always ends up as a positive thing because it's like, a, like you're unloading your issues, but uh, you still want to solve the problem. You don't want to just swim in negativity. When I do the street art, when I put stuff outside, when I do big uh, large scale murals, there's always love involved. There's always the question about like, uh, what what do you do also with your life? What do you do with your energy? How do you help? How do you share it? When I started doing wheat paste, uh, it was extremely exciting, but at the same time it was heartbreaking because I would, uh, I would wheat paste in the middle of the night. I would go the next morning to take pictures and sometimes uh, I would come the next day and it would be already gone. Some of the pieces would last for months, but none of them survive like so I could be extremely popular in a frame time of a few months and six months after that I cannot show you one piece so I, I never existed as a street artist it took many years until I realized that uh, this is what happens in the street you it's, in a gallery it will not happen but outside in the streets you put your art there it might not be there tomorrow so it was a great lesson of letting go. And why am I putting this? Is it for my own ego or I actually want to share my art with other people? Fame and fortune was something I used to want, but now I think it's a misuse of talent. My whole day is about that, to 
eventually, hopefully, do something better uh, on a bigger picture scale. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's it. You never watch the 